what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we are going to be talking about screen five again and as you saw in the thumbnail regarding rose mcgowan and the seemingly in what i'm interpreting her denied uh request at a cameo appearance from kevin williamson and those involved with screen five i from all intents and purposes i believe she denied wanting to do a voice cameo in screen five and this is coming to us from scream obsessed that's the person that's the account that i saw this post originating from on my twitter account so shout out to you scream obsessed uh keep up the good work they posted a image here as you see on your screen where a fan tagged rose mcgowan in a edited screen promo poster and you see her comment it says scream 5 is financed produced distributed by kevin williamson who resurrected the monstrous name miramax i'm a, that's that type of wording there is of course in her i'm assuming that's coming from her animosity towards the weinsteins and harvey weinstein and everything she went through and she continues he was there every step of the way and they've reached out for me to have a cameo by voice how quaint how charming how noble enjoy your movie now honestly it sounds like she my interpretation is she denied wanting to reprise a voice a, a, a voice appearance as tatum riley in screen five which is kind of sad if true but again this could not mean that and she could eventually end up being in the film in some capacity but rose mcgowan in my opinion sounds like she denied being in the film and the only reason i say that is because i don't think not to say that no one would slip up like this but after the whole marley shelton thing with skeet Ulrich, and i'm pretty sure we're all convinced skeet's in the film in some capacity as billy loomis because of that post uh rose mcgowan's language is kind of just more so of a person who seemingly isn't involved with this project whatsoever and she's letting it be known hey they asked me to be a part of it for a voice cameo and i turned it down i don't want to play tatum riley anymore she wants nothing nothing to do with uh nothing to do with kevin williamson it seems i don't think she's really holding any type of grudges against kevin from all, again what i'm interpreting she just seems like she doesn't want anything to do with this franchise because of the fact that it's tied to harvey weinstein even though he's not involved with it harvey weinstein worked on the majority of this franchise and brought these fantastic movies to us uh but i know a lot of you guys have been wanting to see like a scene in scream 5 or in the scream series in general where dewey even acknowledges that he has a sister because he goes through these movies and it's like tatum was so insignificant to him <laughs> i'm not saying he doesn't care about his sister but it's just the way he's never brought her up uh she's been brought up in scream 2 but it's the way she's brought up there dewey never really has a moment where he's reflecting on her death or anything like that from what i can remember throughout this franchise so i know a lot of you myself included it would be nice to hear dewey talk about his sister because i don't believe he dislikes her or anything but it'd be nice to have a scene where you're at least reminiscing on your sister uh maybe showing some signs or something that you miss her and this voice cameo scenario that would have been nice maybe during the scene where dewey is sitting down and he's going through like a dark time in his life he's depressed and he's just reminiscing through his life he's recently been divorced from gail let's say and he picks up a picture of him and tatum from let's say like a photo that was shot on the set of, of the original screen where rose and david are in character but we never see this picture anywhere on the film it's literally something of them just having fun on set but we're going to use that as an image of them posing as brother and sister and he picks up this image and he just reminisces about his sister and a little voiceover comes in from rose mcgowan as tatum just playing through his mind he's replaying his own sister's voice through his mind because he's missing her at this moment looking at this picture of them together and hopefully this will be an image of them smiling together because they they bickered for most of the original film they had their relationship i hope it was more positive than what we got to see they just spent a lot of it bickering but that would have been a nice scene to have it as i'm playing that in my head i would have liked to see something like that rose mcgowan not participating or seemingly seeming like she denied her request to come back for a voice cameo that's that's fine that's completely up to her she feels the way she feels again my interpretation of this is again this is all just due to the baggage along with harvey weinstein that she still is not pleased with and that's completely 
her right to not be pleased with anything regarding this franchise if it's still just her being upset about Harvey Weinstein. I don't, again, think she has anything against Kevin Williamson other than, of course, maybe just him being involved with Miramax. But him as a person, I don't think there's really any type of bad blood between them. I hope not. But her reprisal as Tatum would have been great because it would have been a nice thing to see. Uh, but I guess she didn't really want to be in the sequel like she was begging from Ghostface in the original before she died. <laughs> uh, I know a lot of you are fans of that character. I really enjoyed how she was kind of Sydney's mouthpiece in the original film because Sydney was very reserved and very just shy and much to herself. Just going through the emotions of still dealing with her mother's untimely death and the trial going on with the person she thought killed her mother being pressured by her boyfriend to have sex with her. There's just a lot of stuff going on in her life. And then you have this friend who is a little bit outspoken. She says the things that Sydney's probably thinking about saying, but she is having Tatum saying the things that Sydney's probably thinking she wants to say, but she's not because that's not who she is. <laughs> uh, so I, I would like to, I always thought of Tatum like Sydney's wild side, but obviously embodied through her best friend. <laughs> Uh, I, I enjoyed the character Rose McGowan did an amazing job as that character she more or less may or may not be in the film again reading this comment I don't think she's going to be in the film in any way shape or form but hopefully it, despite that we'll have something mentioning of that character from Dewey or somebody to just reminisce on Tatum and what she meant to Sydney because again when I watched that original film she is such a good friend to Sydney while there might be some things about her that I don't like She's still overall, when it comes to being a friend to Sydney, I can't say she was a bad friend to that woman. She was a very good friend. She would speak for her. She was there to she was there to uh, just ease her pains when necessary. She hyped her up when she hit Gail Weathers in the face. A lot of cool moments from uh, Tatum Riley in the original film. So it's sad to see if she's actually not going to be reprising her role. But who knows? Maybe it's the opposite. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications and miss a video in the description. I have links to my social media accounts on my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.